Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk a little bit about what goes on underneath your tichel and underneath your scars. We always say that what's going on underneath is just as important, if not more important, than what's going on on top. So, as you can see, I'm wearing an Israeli tichel right now. I'm wearing this because I don't show my hair. So you can pretend right now that this is my hair and I have it tied with one of the oomtastic scrunchies in a low messy bun at the bottom here. If you need to learn how to tie a messy bun, I'm sure there's lots of videos on YouTube on how to do that. But basically you want it to be a nice kind of poofy thing with not anything really sticking out awkwardly. So our first essential tool that's really, really, really essential is the velvet headband. Now. How to wear this. If you wear it the wrong way, your scarf will actually slip off faster than when you didn't wear it. So you must wear it the right way. When you put it on, you want to test it out with your finger. Make sure that when you pet the velvet, that you feel the friction going this way. When you go the opposite way, it should feel nice and smooth. So friction going backwards, smooth going this way. If it's the wrong way, then your tichel will slip off. You can also kind of fake this by taking the label that's printed here and making sure that that's by your left ear. But really, you want to check the friction because maybe later um, you could flip it over or something like that. So, you put on the velvet headband. You place the velvet headband exactly where you want it to stay all day. And what I do is then I kind of grab any sort of little side wispy things on the side of my head with the velvet headband and anything that's going on at the back of my head I also with my hands you can see my hand here I bring up any sort of wispy ends that I want the velvet headband to contain and then I fasten it you want it to be snug but not tight and these headbands will stretch out like anything probably after six months. If you somehow bought a velvet headband and it's too small, try running it under water and stretching it a bit and it will stretch out just fine. So there, I have my velvet headband. I want my hairline to be here. If you want to show bangs or show a little hair at the front, place the velvet headband again exactly where you want it to stay all day because now it's not going to budge. Look, not going to budge at all. Here we have our beautiful shaper. Now for those of you that have been asking, our shapers fit every single head size because they tie at the bottom. They tie at the bottom and if you have hair like I do, then your hair will be sticking out a bit underneath, which is why you want to tie it in a bun with the oomtastic scrunchie. If you have short hair, you can just follow these instructions without having the bun underneath. So I've got my shaper on. Now you can't really see this because it's black, but I've put my shaper about halfway um, covering my velvet headband. I like that because then it leaves a bit of the velvet headband to grip the scarf that I'm gonna put on. And now we have the Smurf stage. So as you can see, I tied the shaper at the nape of my neck and then I take these two little ends and I tuck them in. So basically, if you imagine me with my hair here, you have your bun here and you have your shaper up here. And when it's covered by scarf, it kind of creates this beautiful combination. The last thing I'm going to show you, so this is what goes on underneath. Last thing I'm going to show you is some um, a view, depending on how you put the shaper on, it might be sticking out a little funny and you don't really want that shape. So I'm going to show you how using the scarf, you can actually shape the shaper itself. So I've taken my super soft pashmina and I've folded it to fit my head. Now when I say fold it to fit your head, that's going to be different for everyone depending on how big your head is and how much volume you've got going on at the back. You will soon learn how to eyeball it. Basically, I actually made mine not wide enough. You want it to be so that when, so that the scarf hits right around the nape of your neck. That's how wide you want it to be. Now what you want to do, if you want the shaper to be a little more shaped, is you want to gather, gather all this up so you get a nice pulled in shape. Pull it in, gather it up, and tie a knot. And this will contain the shaper beautifully and leave you a nice and comfortable silhouette.
So as you can see, this is how you wear your shaper. And obviously now I'm going to do all my craziness and stuff like that, but that's for the other videos. Okay, take care everyone. Bye-bye.